Hi everybody, welcome to today's masterclass, how to package your expertise into a lucrative signature program and confidently charge a premium and get it. If it's okay, I'd like to start with a question. Let me ask you, are you running from one thing to the next, your time poor and finding it challenging to bring in a consistent income and you really know in your heart that you should be charging more? Would you like to finally put an end to the consistent hustle, to tripling your fees and attracting a nice steady flow of premium clients who are an absolute joy to work with, who book with you time and time again? Okay, I have set a chat box up on this page. So as you're listening to the masterclass today, what I would like you to do is to take notes of any questions that you have, any aha moments that you have, and then just pop them into the chat box and I can come back to you and answer your questions personally. Let me ask you another question. Do you feel stuck bringing in the same level of income and the business just doesn't seem to be growing as fast as you would like it to. You know, you feel like you're stuck in the wax of the candle going nowhere fast. Where we want you is actually to be in the flame of the candle burning bright. Let me ask you, would you like to quickly put an end to over delivering, undercharging and significantly increasing your income while working fewer hours, giving you the freedom and the flexibility to enjoy your business and your life, to finally get off that merry-go-round. The reason that I decided to bring this masterclass together for 2020 is that Way too many women are peddling painfully fast and they are struggling to grow a thriving business. They feel uncomfortable talking about their fees a lot of the time, uncomfortable talking about money and also increasing their fees. So they hesitate to ask for the sale and set their prices way too low. Low. <laughs> Didn't quite come out right. Low. <laughs> set their prices way too low. They are often unsure what to include in a premium program, so either don't have one or they over deliver on what they are already promising their clients. They have way too many offers, offers, which is often the case, way too many offers, which is confusing, and they find themselves giving an awful lot of of their time to the business for free, which drains their energy leaving them feeling overwhelmed, isolated and stuck, bringing in the same level of income year on year on year. So it makes running the business really hard work. Now, here's why this is a problem. It's likely to make running the business almost impossible if she doesn't, if she's not clear on what she's delivering because it means that she's having to reinvent the wheel, recreate the wheel each time she has a new client. If her fees are too low, then people are less likely going to see the value and she will have a really challenging time making enough money to keep the business afloat, let alone moving it into any profit. Another reason that this is an issue is that it undermines her credibility, her expertise and significantly impacts on her confidence, which drains, which drives her into working even harder and feeling even more demoralized. Here's the good news, though. You can change all of this around like I have and my clients do. So once she has a crystal clear strategy for creating a lucrative signature program, this is a process for setting her fees, a proven repeatable roadmap for success and big profits. And she's also confidently secure talking about her value and her fees. She can instantly charge what she's worth and get it. So we're going to explore this more now in this masterclass. 
Are you pedalling painfully fast and struggling? 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 <laughs> struggling <laughs> to grow a thriving business. You're over delivering, undercharging, and feel stuck. You feel like you're on that merry go round, just going round and round and round, faster, faster, faster. Then today, you're going to learn the tips and have the insights to help you begin charging what you're worth and getting it. So if you like hustling, if you like being, you know, working 24 seven, then that's fine. This isn't for you. If that's your personality, that's perfectly fine. Just know that this isn't for you because this is about running a calmer, smoother, more profitable business and saving your energy and your mental health and well-being at the same time. Because we only have a limited time, I promise that before the end, I'll share with you a way that we can take this further together. I love working with solopreneurs, entrepreneurs, because I get to help so many awesome divas to fully step into who they truly are and to create a profitable business doing what they love while making a positive impact in the world. But to be honest, it wasn't always that way for me. Just 18 months ago, I was hustling, broke. Everything that I seemed to try didn't work. Well, it worked with a little bit of success, but nothing that was going to move me into profit and have the business and the lifestyle it is that I have today. I had made my offers as cheap as chips and still I was finding that people were reluctant to buy. I felt frustrated and consistently asked myself, what the hell is it that I was doing wrong? Why could I not figure this out? Why could I not get it to work? I would <laughs> be heartbroken. I would cry. I'd be really upset. I just, I was so frustrated that I couldn't figure it out. And I tried all of these different ways of doing things online that just didn't work, that just do not work for, for people like us who want to work and help people to get a specific transformation around our expertise. It's never going to work. We're basically being sold a lie. But I'm going on a bit of a rampage now, so I'm going to have to rein myself back in. So, yeah, I constantly ask myself the question because everyone around me looked like they were successful and I was desperately struggling. And if I'm honest, I was resentful, jealous of other people. I created a wall around me because I just I just couldn't get it. I struggled basically for eight years in the business and that's why I'm so passionate about what I do now. Now, obviously, because I've gone through that experience myself, it's very easy to pick up and notice in other people. I wasted so much time trying to figure running the business out all by myself and getting nowhere. I was basically bringing in around £10,000 a year and could not seem to push past that number. I felt ashamed, embarrassed, that I just could not seem to get the business off the ground, which left me feeling demoralized and had a massive impact on my self-esteem, confidence, and if I'm honest, mental health. I was so broke that I took on a part-time job in police custody for £8.50 an hour, working as an appropriate adult, which basically means when somebody is arrested and they need to be interviewed, I sit in on all of the interviews to make sure that they are ran correctly. It's quite it's quite an intense job. Well, it was quite an intense job. And I remember it well. Days when I couldn't even afford to get the freaking bus. <laughs> um I couldn't afford to get the bus. Eight pounds fifty an hour. The bus was like four pounds, four pounds fifty an hour, four pounds fifty um, return. And sometimes I couldn't even afford to get the bus. So I'd have to walk 45 minutes up a really steep hill. And I'm saying this because this is the situation my mind had put me in. This was my doing. This was 
my making. Took me a long time to realise it, but um, yeah, that's that's where I found myself. And I remember it as if it was yesterday. And I was standing at the bridge in custody and someone was being read their rights before going into interview. And I just, I wasn't even listening. And that's really bad. I'm very conscious in terms of the way I work. And I recognised how bad that was. And in that moment, I just looked at the sergeant and said, I'm not doing this anymore. I just cannot do it. I've had enough. I'm like, and he just looked at me as if to say, yeah, we all say that. Well, actually, that is what he said. Yep, sure. We all say that. See you next week. And I didn't go back. And in that moment, I recognised all I was doing was feeding into my childhood trauma and keeping myself well and truly stuck coming from a place of lack. As I was standing at the bridge, I realised that I just couldn't do it anymore. And while working in an environment that was toxic, oppressive and opposite of what it was, I wanted to truly create for myself and for my clients. I absolutely was not walking my talk. What I was doing wasn't authentic at all. So there was a real misalignment in terms of, you know, really struggling and trying to portray that I was running a successful business. So as I said, I looked up at the sergeant and I said, that's it, I quit. (laughs) And I can actually believe that the words were coming out of my mouth and what what I'd just done, I moved into... Um, my brain just went and my body just went into almost a paralytic state of fear and but I stuck I stuck by it I knew that if I didn't make a change and take responsibility for doing all that I could do to get the business up and running that would pretty much be the end of the business and I would probably still be working in police custody with um, depression So what I soon realised after scraping the money together to work with a high level mindset coach was that I was the reason the business wasn't working. I had deep rooted negative beliefs around money because I believed that people could not afford to work with me. That's exactly what it is that I attracted. My negative money beliefs stopped me from investing in myself. So I struggled for years until I finally decided to get help. I basically gave myself a three month period to turn things around in the business. So I invested in the mindset coach, I invested in sales training, which paid off basically in a matter of weeks. Within six weeks, I hit my first 5k month. Then I invested in learning how to create a awesome relationship with money at a much deeper level. I then hit my first 10k month. Honestly, I could not leave it. From that moment now, I make sure that I keep investing in training and mentoring because this is this has really allowed me to rapidly grow the business from strength to strength. So over the 18, last 18th months, it's a bit longer than that, I've personally invested tens of thousands in personal mentoring. I got up at four half three AM yesterday to speak to a mentor in the States. That's how committed I am to the success of myself (laughs) because I am the business and the business and of my clients as well. I really don't want you to struggle anymore. As soon as I feel stuck, what I do is I start instantly now working with a new mentor. So I'm consistently updating my knowledge and moving forward, not staying stuck in one place. For staying stuck in one place will absolutely cripple a business. It can't grow. You can't grow a business from a place of lack. If you are in a place of lack, one way to determine that is if you are getting the same results every year like I was. That says to me that you are working from a place of lack in the business. So, honey, it is a case of really biting the bullet and investing in yourself to get the help to move the business forward. Now, what I figured out on that journey was that and what helped me to reach those financial targets and beyond that is that there are seven 
proven ingredients to creating a lucrative signature program no, from no matter where you are starting from within the business. So if you've had some success in the business, but you're finding it like you're stuck in the wax of the candle and it's become really hard work, you're stuck at a certain um, financial point in the business and you can't seem to leverage it and you're working really hard and you want to make more money, but you're not quite sure how to put your fees up. This is exactly for you. So this is my seven key proven ingredients for creating a lucrative signature program. First place to start. Absolutely. This is part of the foundational work. If you can't nail this, it won't matter what your prices are. It won't matter what your fees are because people won't pay because you won't believe it. And what you don't believe will get mirrored back to you every time. And you'll go, look, there's the evidence. So first place to start is about expanding your relationship with money so you can thrive and receive all the money you truly desire. Pivotal to your success. The other thing is really about working from the inside out so you can confidently show up and shine. Now, I know we hear this a lot, but this is also another critical part of the jigsaw because, you know, in the business, we'll often look at what's going on around us. That will influence how we shape the business. And then we pop it out into the universe. This isn't what we want to be doing when we're creating a signature program. We want to be working from a position of what uniquely belongs to you from the inside out. Because that's what people are buying. They don't want the watered down version of you. They want you. So we have to really um, dig deep and connect and use your knowledge, insight and wisdom to create your offering. Next, we've got actually the creation of a lucrative signature program. So I guess we could call this the mechanics. Not a very sexy word, is it? <laughs> but this is where we get 100% focused in on long lasting results. The transformation is that people are going to invest good money and time to get out of the situation it is that they find themselves in. So it's about creating the signature program that is your business's DNA. No one can copy this. It is unique to you. When people work with me, it's a unique experience because of what I have been through and what I've learned. That's what people are buying. Connecting you is really about another cornerstone, another part of the jigsaw is about creating the very best customer experience. When people are paying at a premium, they want the experience to be absolutely crystal clear, to be smooth, no bumps in the road. You want to make it as smooth as for them as possible. So there's a lot of work that goes round back end. <laughs> I don't like back end. But you know, there's a lot of work that goes into actually how do you make this as seamless and as smooth as possible? Once you've got that nailed, it actually makes it a lot less work for you because it runs smooth for your clients. It runs smooth for you. Sales. <laughs> we should really have another word for sales, but ultimately we are selling. We cannot get away from that. And this is where a lot of women have issues around selling because of the stories that they have with money. Not only that, but to be honest, they haven't invested the time or the money in learning how to really sell. And this is what we do in this part of the jigsaw is to create a sales conversation that is inquisitive. So it's a win-win for both of you and has your prospects easily saying yes. That's what we want. We want our prospects saying yes and not quibbling about the price it is that we have set. Now, the last part of the jigsaw is lucrative connections. That is about rinsing and repeating. It's not about creating a new course, creating a new offer, diluting the message, uh, bringing your fees back down. It's not about that. This is about positioning with you in forest, with authority, being the go-to expert, having credibility, having people reach out to you. 
you know, I've been on nine podcasts over the last month. I'm just about to do my second virtual summit that I've been invited to speak at. And this is because I am known for creating, helping women to create a lucrative signature program. That's the positioning and the authority piece. If you start watering things down, you're going to run into problems. So it's about rinse and repeating what it is that you have learned with me creating your lucrative signature program. Now that I've done that, my business and my life has completely changed. Now I've become location independent. You know, I've been last year, I was working three days a week. And traveling the world at the same time, I was pretty much fully booked. I've been to Thailand, South Korea, the Philippines, Cambodia, Indonesia. At the moment, I'm recording this from Bali. So my life has completely changed. And it's changed because of those cornerstones that I have put into the business, which has made it much easier to run. I spend a lot of my time in luxurious spas, visit exotic locations and have a much happy and healthier lifestyle. My mental health is far better than it was when I was struggling back in the UK. Steve's been able to retire at 48. Let's not even talk about that. <laughs> it feels truly amazing to now be able to hire people to help me with the business so it's good to be contributing back to um, how the planet well how humans work how humans work that's not coming out right but it's you know it's nice to employ people it's nice to pay people to do something it's nice to support other entrepreneurs the other thing i've also been able to do is to help um other entrepreneurs in say Cambodia the Philippines to help them in their businesses so I give financially to support those businesses and charities around the world and I've made a promise to myself this year that every time I enroll a new client I am going to give that way so every time I get a new client I'm going to send money to someone in Cambodia Philippines one of those countries to help them with their business because we think business is tough here my god it's nothing in comparison to what I see when I'm traveling today I'm going to reveal how you can start to do this for yourself now one of the biggest problems I come across for female solopreneurs entrepreneurs is that they are feeling overwhelmed and disheartened Many of them have actually lost their mojo, that spark, and are not sure what to focus on to quickly grow the business. They're stuck on the merry-go-round, basically. She often feels like the business is an expensive hobby and hard, and hard to work. She might have created online courses, lead magnets, webinars, low-priced offers, and try to hold live events. And often doing things for free. She's super busy on social media, but just not getting the results and often charging by the hour. So either an hour's time, three hours time, six sessions at a time. Now, the problem is that this makes running the business pretty much impossible as she's focused on the wrong things to generate a good income fast. This is likely to undermine her credibility and expertise and significantly impact on her confidence, which pushes her into harder, making, you know, running her life even harder, leaving her more stressed out, more anxious and in an endless loop of just doing, not thinking, not planning, just doing. It's no wonder, is it, that she feels demoralised after putting all of that hard work in. Truth bomb, business really does not need to be that complicated. I remember when I was struggling for some bizarre reason. Bizarre, it, it is. Rather than slowing down, standing still, which is actually what I needed to do. You know, when I changed the business, I just stopped everything. I stopped all my social media. I stopped everything that I was doing because I realized what was the point in continuing? So 
took me a long time to realize that, but I got to the point of <laughs> why am I still doing this when it clearly isn't working? But instead, what happened was I speeded up. I started to do more and more. I started to try more things, put more stuff out there. Still wasn't working. I was consistently pushing myself harder and harder to try and figure it out. And when it didn't work, of course, I would psychologically beat myself up. Now, the truth is, as a consultant, coach, trainer, mentor, entrepreneur, if you're working in the transformational space, you just need three things working online. You don't need everything else that goes with it, websites. The other things are nice to have. I have ran my business with a crappy website. I don't use it. I'm having a new one made at the moment, but I haven't used it over the last couple of years. You don't need, God forbid, tripwires. I hate that term um, because we're working with people. <laughs> we shouldn't be asking them to trip over anything. <laughs> we should be enabling and supporting them. I'm going on a rant again. Hang on. I need to rein myself back in again. Okay. Three things you need. Let's go back to that. Three things you need to run a successful transformational business online. An offer that people will buy a way to connect and have a face-to-face -face conversation and a diary. That is it. <laughs> Old-fashioned sales, old-fashioned relationships and conversations. No keeping people at arm's length. One of the ways that I can tell if someone is in overwhelm is to find out where they are focusing their energy and how many offers they have. So here's an exercise for you. If you feel brave enough, put your comments in the comments box below. That would be awesome. But here's an exercise I'd like you to do. So what I would like you to do is to add up how many hours a week you are working on and in the business. What does that come to? How many hours a week are you working? So let's just say it's 20, and for most people, it, it can be double that. Now, how much an hour do you charge? If you don't charge an hour, just pick a figure of what you would like to charge. So 250, 350 an hour, whatever that fee is. If you don't have an hourly fee, as I said, put down what you would like to charge. So just to make it easier, I put 150 pounds. So let's just say it's 150 pounds an hour, 20 times 150 is 3,000, times that by 49, that is 147,000 a year worth of energy, time, commitment that you are putting into the business. And this always gives me a strong indication of where the energy is going in the business. Because if you're not making three or four times this amount of money, it is just an energy drain and it shows me that where you're putting your energy isn't the right place. And it's why many entrepreneurs feel so um, overwhelmed, stressed, isolated. It's it's that repeated pattern of, of behavior. So this is quite a powerful exercise for you to see what's happening in the business. And if you're saying to yourself, well, you know, I've done an online course, but it didn't cost me anything. Online courses, when you actually do the maths, probably cost around 15,000, 17,000 to create. And if you are not getting that money back, you're running that course at a significant loss. Yeah. That's why it can feel like you're trapped a little bit. It's not about the money. This is really about the weight and the energy that you're potentially carrying, which can make running the business almost impossible. This level of ongoing stress, trying to figure it out yourself, impacts on every decision you make. It's likely to keep you paralyzed in a state of limbo. And that's what I did in the business for eight years. I'm very honest about it, very transparent about it, because I know from the women that I speak to, that a lot of women are experiencing the same situation that I found myself in. Let me ask you a question. Now that you know that, what will happen if you keep on investing your time, money and energy into the business with very little return? 
Now, it can be with very little return or it can be that maybe you've hit, you know, a benchmark of 50K and you want to get over that, but you're still finding yourself stuck at 50K. What will happen if you continue like that or 100K even? Knowing what you know now from this quick exercise, as I said, what will happen if you continue working this way? And I, I want you to be honest with yourself here. Don't BS yourself. Be honest. What's going to happen if you keep doing what you're doing? And if you feel brave enough, leave that comment in the chat box because I'm sure it will help other women who are watching this on the replay to know that they're not the only ones that are feeling that way. Okay, so on a scale of one to 10, you know I love my scales. How ready are you to get this sorted once and for all? One, nah, not interested. 10, I'm all over it. <laughs> now, be honest here as well. Pop that in the chat box. That would be good to know as well. When I started working with the gorgeous Steph, Steph was giving her time away for free, basically. So much so that people would um, come and pick her brain in a coffee shop. She'd buy the coffee. We always joke about this. She'd buy the coffee and she would just give them free consultation, free mentoring. And she got so good at this that people would come back and do the same thing again to her. And she was feeling as if this was the last resort. This was, she just couldn't hack it anymore. Who could, who could blame her? That's emotionally draining. She was coaching by the hour and was finding it challenging to understand how she could package her expertise. And she was pretty much at the point of giving up. When we started working together, it was clear to me, and this is very common, by the way, that the real value she had to offer wasn't even what she was coaching on. Steph says now that her business is completely unrecognisable. She's moved away from being a generalised coach and is now an expert and consultant in imposter syndrome. She's increased her one-to-one -one fees to a starting point of 2,600 and has become a sought after paid speaker on imposter syndrome. So a signature program is about your expertise, what you're passionate about. Pro mindset insight. I've spoken to enough women in business to confidently say this because I see them stuck trying to figure it all out year after year like I did. If you are stuck in the wax of your business, then please take some time to stop. Just stop and think about how you can take your business forward with the right help. Make the best decision you can to invest in your personal growth. The chances are that if you keep moving forward with your current mindset and the knowledge you have, you are going to get the same results, just like I did. So what do you have to lose? It's your priority to get this sorted now. And what I would say, what it was for me that underpinned for me was really about my mindset, was really about my relationship with money that sabotaged the success, my success and the success of the business. As I mentioned earlier, I wanted to share a way that we could take this further or you can take it further with me. So what I've done is I have created an hour long call. So if you would like to have more people reaching out to you and saying yes to working with you, grab a one hour long up level business boosting complimentary call. On the call, we're going to create a step by step plan that describes in detail how to quickly and easily attract premium clients and have more people saying yes to working with you. And you'll also discover the one easy step you can take to immediately get into action straight away. How does that sound? What I'll do is I'll pop the link below this video. So go ahead and grab yourself 
an up level call now before they're all fully booked. They will go. Let me ask you a question. Is your business just ticking over with a handful of clients every month? Do you feel like you are on an endless merry-go-round of marketing with very little to show for it? Would you like to start working with clients who are fully committed to investing in themselves and pay your fees, no questions asked, and rebook with you time and time again? Well, let's be honest here. Even I want that. <laughs> Well, we all want for our business, isn't it? We want clients that are fully committed to taking the action, doing the work, to growing a thriving and profitable business, who pay your fees without quibbling about it. And they rebook with you time and time again. It is the ideal business. If you don't want that, then... You need to really sit back and ask yourself the question, what is it that you really want the business to give you? I mentioned this earlier that one of the biggest problems for female solopreneurs is that they don't know what to put in their programs and tend to over deliver and undercharge. The reason this is a problem is that if they're not clear on what to put in the program, then they're also not clear on the results or the transfer transformation, I get it out, which makes it hard to sell and no repeat business. A quarter of my business is repeat business. You know, so when things get tough in the business throughout the year, they do for all of us. It, it's business. That's business. Um, the great thing for me is that the clients that I've already worked with rebook time and time again, which is great. It gives you that cushion. The reason this is a problem is that if they're not clear on what to put in the program, then they're also not clear on the results and the transformation, which makes it hard to sell. I think I'm repeating myself and bring in repeat business. They're, they're basically having to reinvent the wheel each time. It's time consuming, costly and attracts the wrong people to work with as they're often not committed to doing the work. So you're just basically calling in the wrong people all of the time. Proof bomb. The market is saturated with low priced offers, sticking plasters, I call them. Many solopreneurs have fallen into the trap of trying to work with as many people as possible. All that happens here is that they end up putting everyone before themselves, they stay broke and end up sacrificing their own financial security. Oh, and as I just mentioned, they stay broke. As they say, you can't help others before you help yourself. There will always be a marketplace for premium offers because people are more willing to invest their time, money and energy into something when they understand clearly what the value is that you have to offer. They buy based on a proven track record, getting results and the transformation that they are after. They like to know what you're offering has a beginning, a meaning, a middle and an end. You're not selling them a lower price course. These are two totally different types of people. They, they think completely differently. People are wanting the human connection more than anything. Someone to hold them accountable, to have their back, to tell them what is the next part of the jigsaw, the puzzle. What's the next step that's going to help them to get the transformation it is that they want? That's where we come in as transformational experts to help people. Whether we're a consultant, coach, trainer, it's irrelevant. We are still helping people to get from point A to where it is that they want to be on that journey. And to do that, we have to have a framework that sells based on results and transformation. To help people or business owners get the results they want and are prepared to invest time and money in, it makes it a much easier sale. Not to keep them at arm's length and have them in an email list, sales funnel on a cheaper priced offer, two totally different types of people. And Caroline is a, the perfect example of this. When we started working together, 
she had several offers from low to high, all offering different things. She had so many that only one of them was selling. Well, she was while she was doing OK, she felt that there was something missing. She wanted to spend more time at home with her husband and work more online rather than having to spend countless wasted hours traveling. She's in America. So she had a lot of um, travel movements in her diary. Within a matter of weeks, yes, a matter of weeks, she had her first premium clients and basically went from charging $97 to $2,750 as the starting point. And it didn't stop there. As soon as she stepped into her signature, things really, really took off for her. I spoke to her recently and she says that her outshine eye signature is going from strength to strength. And, you know, it's interesting that she said that she wanted to spend more time at home. But my God, I've never seen anyone as <laughs> out there <laughs> because it's she's just fully embraced herself now. She's not undercharging. $97 for her level of expertise what, giving that away at that price, in my mind, is an absolute crime. So she's thriving now. Here's the thing. When people feel, see and experience you as connected, confident and fully present with an unshakable belief in your self-worth, they will buy whatever it is that you are selling. Creating your lucrative signature program comes from the inside out, not the outside in. It's about being crystal clear on your expertise combined with what people will invest time and money in. People don't invest large amounts of money on generalist training, mentoring or coaching or people who have watered down their message by creating a mixture of lower priced offers. Also less likely to invest in people who don't focus in on helping them to get results. They want to know that you walk your talk, can see what you're, you deeply believe in and are prepared to stand by. These people are fully committed to making a difference, even though they know it's difficult for them. They are forward thinking and not stuck in their story and just need to know that you are the right person to work with them. This is a very different mindset to people who buy online courses and it's why I don't offer online courses. I work with women who are ready to receive and expand and are committed to do what it takes to succeed in their business. Online courses will never achieve that. A lucrative signature program is made up of the very best you have to offer your knowledge, wisdom, expertise. It's the very essence of what you believe get results, proven results. It's what you know to be true. It's about stripping back what you are offering, helping that person to take easy, manageable steps, one step at a time to help them move quickly rather than wasting time and energy trying to figure it all out themselves. So let's face it. We know they can't figure it out themselves. Otherwise, they would have done it by by now, wouldn't they? Pro mindset insight. Less is more, as they say. People are paying for the time they are spending with you. So it's important to put the conversation and the relationship at the heart of your lucrative signature program. Get focused in on creating exceptional value, laser focus, personal coaching and mentoring, which is focused in on results. Have a high level of accountability. Provide training on demand if needed. Provide templates, provide scripts, workbooks and videos if it is needed. Only if it's needed, not just. I'm not a fan of bonuses at all. When you are working at this level as an expert, consultant, coach, you are at the top of your game. People are paying for you for that conversation, to shortcut. The thing with um, courses is that you can't ask questions. You can't tailor it to uniquely fit your business. 
This is why I don't do online courses. Let me ask you a cheeky question. Actually, I'm not sure it is so cheeky, but I just thought I'd put that in there. Would you like to have more people saying yes to working with you who pay your fees without question, easily enroll premium clients without compromising your values and integrity? Now, a lot of women that I speak to are really uncomfortable about talking openly about money. You'll see them squirming when we come into the uh, mentoring around having the inquisitive sales call. You'll see them squirling and trialing their, trying their best to um, actually not talk about money. And this is why the money mindset work I do is so important. So we can get around that. They often talk themselves out of the sales conversation and so hesitate to ask the sale. Have you done that? Been in a conversation with a prospect and you're like, they tell you something and you're like agreeing with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, you haven't got the money. Yeah, I totally understand. Actually, no. <laughs> we need to be bigger than our, their story. And to do that, you have to clear um, some stuff that's playing out around your beliefs around money, which we work on. So they set their prices way too low and find themselves giving an awful lot of their time away for free, which drains their energy, leaving them feeling demotivated. And obviously, the reason this is a problem is that it makes running a business pretty much impossible as sales are the lifeblood of the business. No sales, no business, honey. That's a fact. If they set their fees too low, then people are less likely going to see the value, making it challenging to make enough money to keep the business afloat, let alone moving into profit. Another reason it's a problem is that it undermines her credibility, her expertise, and significantly impacts on her self-esteem and confidence, which pushes her into working even harder and moving towards burnout. One of my mentors last year had a saying, and that was, how you manage your money is a reflection on how you do business. And it is so true. If you believe that people won't pay a premium to work with you, then guess what? People won't. That's what you're going to get mirrored back to you. If you believe that people will pay to work with you, then guess what? That's what's going to happen. People will pay your premium fees. I've witnessed this time and time again with my private clients. They often believe that people won't pay a premium to work with them. But guess what? As soon as they change their mindset and work towards results, they have premium clients. For solopreneurs to thrive, they need to understand the relationship they have with money because it will either make or break them in business. It's the difference between having a business that survives by a business that thrives. And I am a great example of that. In my experience, there are two key factors that will cause a solopreneur to give up and go back to work. Firstly, it is their relationship with money. They hold negative beliefs. It's not going to come in. They will sabotage their success. And secondly, it's their self-worth, whether they believe they can pull the business off or not. They are integral to one another. As a, yeah, they're interlinked, <laughs> interwoven with one another. They feed into one another and will happily keep you in misery for the rest of your life if you let them. When my clients immediately take their first steps and start holding inquisitive sales calls, they are pleasantly surprised how much easier it is to enroll premium clients. Here's a truth bomb. You can 100% do something about breaking free like I have from my limiting money beliefs. But you have to be prepared to make the first step and invest in yourself to get the help. Otherwise, all you're doing is you're just going to go around in circles endlessly like I did. And it doesn't matter if you're, you want to make your first 5K or your first 10K or you want to make over 50K. The issues are the same. 
here are some examples of some clients. I've taken these from my um, Facebook page. Um, Beverly, two new clients. Meline, new client. And they all say the same thing. They can't believe how easy it is. They can't believe when someone pays, you know, a couple of thousand pounds and that money instantly goes into the bank and it's not even on a payment plan. They are absolutely like gobsmacked, like I was. Selena, new client. I think that's Steph. New client, money in the bank. Lorraine, Carolyn, Neetha, Sue. These are just personal messages from people that have um, started enrolling new clients. Two new premium clients, Frilled. Someone else has signed up, Money in the Bank. <laughs> oh, God. Do you know what? When I get these messages, these are... To me, this is I know when I've done my work. I know when I've done a good job. Or I see someone realise that actually that what they believe about money is just a complete illusion. But as I said, they all say the same thing. They can't believe how easy it is to enrol clients this way. Pro Mindset Inside. It won't matter how cheap you make your offers. If you hold the negative beliefs around money, then that's the block. Not how expensive or cheap it is, regardless of price. If you are reluctant to talk openly about money, then that is what it is that is going to be mirrored back to you. It's why when working with my new clients, we work on their relationship with money first. So they are not, so they are open to receive all the money that is going to be coming their way. A lucrative signature program can be used to fast track your business so you can easily enroll more clients hassle free time and time again. Be book solid all year round and get big results working just three days a week. It is a proven repeatable roadmap for success and big profits. Perfect for when you need a quick infusion of cash. And great for when you want to run VIP intensive and high touch mentoring and accountability group calls. So I mentioned earlier on, oh, I'm sorry, I've got a bit of a frog in my throat, <clears throat> as they say. I mentioned earlier on about not doing online courses anymore. I would much rather do um, group immersions where there is a high level of mentoring personal one. We always start with a personal VIP session. We then have personal one-to-one -one mentoring and we also have group support as well and videos to back it up as well. I do not believe when you are working at this level that online courses are helpful. So I just refuse to work that way. Perfect for a variety of different speaking events paid when you're so perfect your signature talk is perfect for a variety of speaking events. Whether you're paid to speak at the event, you can use it, or whether you are able to make an offer and sell from the stage. Quick, easy and repeatable marking that pretty much guarantees lucrative paydays. And great for when you want to run VIP intensive, high touch mentoring and accountability programs. This is the one I was just talking about. So there are lots of different ways that you can leverage your signature program. But let me ask you, are you ready to finally put an end to hustling, feeling overwhelmed and going nowhere fast in business? Do you want to triple your income, take more time off and grow the business? Do you want to have more people saying yes to work with you who rebook time and time again? And are you ready to be the go-to expert who creates and is known for creating extraordinary results with her clients? Are you ready for a business and life up level? Rinse and repeat. Okay, so we are going to take a quick look at how I run my business, how I'm able to run it three days a week. 
and not have a complicated business and also make a significant income at the same time. Let's just quickly look at this and it'll be good for you to think about what your conversions are. You need to know what your conversions are. It's, you know, you can't run a business without not knowing what your conversions are. How many strategy calls would you need to reach your monthly financial goal? So let's just say <clears throat> your monthly financial goal is £5,000. Now, if you're selling a ton of lower priced offers and you don't have a premium offer, just think about how many is it that you have to sell? How many conversations is it that you have to have? OK, I'm jumping ahead of myself. Right. Let's just say you want to make £5,000 a month and the signature program it is that you've created is £2,500 to enrol that client. So the way I teach, you would have six calls and this is just at the beginning. Obviously, when you become more confident, you will enrol, your conversion rate will increase. So let's just say at the beginning you have six calls and two of those people convert. You've already hit your financial goal the month. Can you see how much easier this is? So six calls, which means that you have to do the marketing before that to bring in those six people. You have the six calls and then you convert two of those people into becoming paying clients. Now, I've based this on um, a snapshot of my business. So this is how it works for me. <clears throat> Apart from I have a higher conversion. But this, I took this from when right back at the beginning. So um, let's, the four other people didn't work with you. But later on, what you do is you go back to them and you invite them to join the group program. So you enroll two more clients at a cheaper price. Then, oh, excuse me. Then what happens is, is that one of those clients then rebooks with you to continue working with you and remember what I said a quarter of my my business is generated from people that I've already previously worked with so let's just say you want to make 10,000 working one-to-one -one. all you need to do is to make sure that you just book in more calls more calls means more um, sales conversations which means more clients Plus, remember, a number of these people are going to continue working with you. And also a number of those people will go into are likely to go into a lower priced offer later on. And this is because of the way I work gives such significant value when I'm having that inquisitive sales call with somebody. It helps them get into reality that they really value the time it is that they have spent with me. And seriously, this is how easy it can be. Once you've created your signature, business and life just becomes so much easier. Running the business becomes highly profitable and it makes enrolling premium clients pretty much hassle free. And that's because everything's already created. It's tested, it's sold. You're not having to recreate everything every time you're just rinsing and repeating bringing people in for calls how are you going to go out there what speaking events are you going to do what online marketing are you going to do to attract people in for a sales conversation for that inquisitive call that's the bit that you have to repeat not the whole creation of a new program no one wants a complicated business let's be honest Let's keep business easy and fun and highly profitable, as simple as possible. Now, this is how I run my business. So when I started, I started only working one to one. I didn't have a group program. And I started my fee started at 1500 because that's where I was at that moment. Now, my fees have increased significantly since then. So we always lead with our signature offer, the premium signature offer, working one to one, because it makes running the business much smoother because we are, you know, either bringing in £1,500 to hit our 
£5,000 target or say we were offering enrolling people into a course, say that was half price, seven fifty. It is less work for you and it is easier to sell at a premium price than rather than compete on a lower price that most people are going to say no to working with you. So I start with my VIP one to one exclusive mentoring. If someone isn't able to raise the money for that, they will then move into or be presented with moving into the group program. Now, there are only six people in my group programs and they are high touch with mentoring and accountability. So this is the second tier down. This is still the same program, still the same content, still the same material, the same results, but it is a lower price. So it makes it more affordable. What's interesting here is that I have found as my stinky money mindset still still kicks in, I always thought that people would go for the group option. It's not true. More people will pay to work with me one-to-one -one than to go into the group program. Interesting, hey? I, th I think so. So my up-level group program is 2500 and my one-to-one -one is 5000 And more people pay to work with me one-to-one -one than to enroll in the group program. I think that is that just says it all, really. Yeah, so I've got my premium. I lead with the one-to-one, -one, and then I offer the group program, just delivered in a slightly different way. And I also hold VIP days as well. And I'm not reinventing the wheel here. All my material is already created from my signature. So I am just using material from my signature. I have recently just before Christmas created a new group immersion and that is to help speakers to create a premium signature talk and that material has also been taken out of my core content so it's fully aligned with my core offer. I haven't put that it mm, it's slightly different okay I'm rambling shut up Wendy <laughs> oh, here we go signature talk right once you've created your signature talk you can then be paid to speak as a professional speaker because they are hiring you to speak around a specific subject that you're known for in that field of expertise and authority so it's another way to leverage your income. As I say, let's keep your business easy to run and super profitable. Now, the way I have marketed my offers is, as you know, is to consistently host Facebook Live challenges. People book in for a call. We get into the inquisitive sales call and we find out if what I have to offer is a good fit for them to use in their business. As I mentioned earlier, I would like to share a way you could take this further with me. So if you'd like to finally put an end to the consistent hustle, triple your fees and attract a flow of premium clients who are an absolute joy to work with and rebook to work with you time and time again, what I would do is I will put my diary link below this replay video. You can go ahead and get yourself booked in. It is an hour long call. And what we will do is we will create a step by step plan that describes in detail how to quickly and easily attract premium clients and have more people saying yes. And you'll also discover the one easy step you can take immediately to get you into action. Okay, that is the end of the masterclass. It's a lot of information to go through. I think the best thing to do is to just, you know, think about the questions it is that you have. You can either pop them in the chat box below and I can come back and answer them personally for you, 
or you can get booked in for an up-level business boosting call and we can have a further discussion about what it, the questions it is that you've had from this masterclass. But whatever you're doing today, gorgeous diva, thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to spend with me learning more about how a lucrative signature program will skyrocket the results in your business moving forward. And I look forward to speaking to you on the call. But whatever you're doing, have an absolutely amazing day.